All right, quick and dirty mock-up. I mean, but at least it's like, okay, I'm getting a sense of where the drill is going to fit in, you know, all that. After spending time getting familiar with this thing, um, I found actually .120, I, I forget what number drill it is, is exactly two millimeters. Um, so what I've done is I, I put, these are 1.128 drills that fit right into these holes. And I, um, I, I had another one over here. And what I've done is I pretty much just, you know, used the caliper, subtracted the diameter. And things aren't, I mean, it's an injection mold. Things are not perfect. So I've had to go back and forth between um, English and metric units to actually reverse, in, reverse engineer to get the, um, actual dimensions, which I think are 49 millimeters by 36 is what it looks like. Then from that I can get this radius because I want to um, find, I need to work off the center. So I'm, I'm getting there. Um, unfortunately, well, I'll save that for another video. <laughs> I'm just attempting to align this and I can't think of a good way to do it. I mean, look, I can't even get to the hole because the hole isn't, it's got a shoulder on it. Maybe some bright person can show me how to do this. And these are tight, um, but you know, there's, but that's not bad. I mean, we're only, we're not talking about rocket science here. So I'm just gonna go between the two and you know, I could have put up, I could have, clamped something to it um, and then swept across the thing but I mean hell these parts are deformed they're not actually um, perfect to begin with as I found as I went around it and looked so okay I've got it lined up and I really don't know what to do next I mean I do know what to do next is to is to get everything milled down to the right size um, if I had CNC, this would be done over easy. I could probably get a boring tool and bore these things round. Um, what I think I'm going to do is now, I, okay, I've got it aligned. I am then going to touch, I'm going to clean these faces off and turn these into squares of known location. Um, I don't know, because see, the whole point is I'm engineering this thing from the bottom up and from the top down. So, I had to figure out a frame to build all of this drill jig on, but without knowing what the drill head itself looks like, I can't go very far. So I'm, I'm working this thing for both ends. Um, it's, it's an interesting engineering project. To locate the, the hole itself, I've turned down a, a, a shaft to the size of the hole, and then and then I'm I'm putting I'm bringing it down and looking. Yeah, it's not exactly science here, but <laughs> it's about the best I can do. Um, and then knowing that I, from the calculations I've done, how many me millimeters it is from here to here, um, I can I can get more accurate as I as I go across and look at these different holes. I can get a better idea. God, I wish I had a CNC machine. <laughs> Not really, but this would be so simple. What I'm doing is I've got um, four holes and four uh, tab things. And the tabs aren't square and the tabs are located, well, it's hard to tell, it's an injection mold. I think they're, I think they're bilaterally symmetrical but they kind of don't, they aren't. Um, but neither are the holes. So um, I've got 38 and a half millimeters by 35.5 millimeters. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm cleaning these off. Um, what I've, I've already done it, I've cleaned off, just touched this whole side, touched the other side, and I'm noting locations. And um, then in order, to, in order to do that symmetrically, I can uh, take, I can do the math, take the numbers away from the center line of that hole that this that I touched off here, and I can bring that down 35 and a half millimeters 
uh, to do the same thing with these lower ones. Uh, so it's going to take a while because then I have to decide what to do because, oh, because the whole idea behind this is I've got a, a this is a, this is a back, the back side of a drill looking at the back side of the chuck. That's going to get bolted up into a block that's uh, bored and split in half and um, got a bunch of ribs and things in, in it. Um, and I'd like this, these, there's going to be holes made in these tabs. I'd like that to be meaningful. Um, I'm not happy with square tabs, but you know, I don't really have a CNC machine and you know, I can't spend my life on this. So, <laughs> all right, I just did it. Everything worked out really well. Um, let's see, what was I going to say? I forgot. I've got to do some hand filing. Um, hmm. Basically, I've got a drill. Trying to get a sense of what this might be like without firing up AutoCAD. That's sort of my, my last step, which is why I've got a book of papers here and a book over there. I couldn't believe it. This was supposed to be simple. Um, so yeah, I don't know.